Hello guys, how are you? So the Tony Awards happened last weekend and as you know, I love award shows. Like when the Oscars happen, I try to watch all the nominated movies. But for the Tonys it's a bit more difficult because, you know, I don't live in New York. But earlier this year I went to New York for the first time and I watched a lot of plays. So this is a short review of the six musicals I watched while I was there. Let's start with last Sunday's winner, Dear Evan Hansen. I liked the year Evan Hansen, it was fun. I laughed a lot and I cried, so it was like a roller coaster of emotions. I think it was great to watch it without knowing anything about it, like I didn't know everyone was talking about it, so my girlfriend and I decided to go watch it. She really wanted to watch it, we got stunning tickets and it was it was good. It was like not a, not what I expected. Plus, Ben Blatt was amazing. He really deserved that Best Actor award. He even signed his cast on our playbill. Favorite song? Sincerely me. Obviously the funny one. Probably my favorite one we watched was Sunset Boulevard with Glenn Close. I had seen a couple of times the movie, I think it's an amazing movie, Billy Wilder is one of my favorite directors. And the musical adaptation is really good, like there were things I didn't know how they will translate to theater, like the dead body at the beginning or the car chase and that was really smart how it was done. And Glenn Close was amazing, I mean she's Glenn Close. I'm pretty sure it's still on Broadway so if you have the chance go watch it because it's really good. She's an amazing actress and the musical really works, like it's it's a whole package thing. Then we watched Waitress too when Jesse Mueller was there and this one kind of surprised me because I didn't really want it to go watch it, my girlfriend really wanted it, so I was like, okay, let's go watch it, and it was quite enjoyable. She had told me the movie wasn't very good, I hadn't seen it, so I went without expecting much of it, and it was quite, quite fun. Favorite song? Never ever getting rid of me. Again, the funny one. Tell me so, I'm a UQ. This one was off-Broadway, but it was really fun. I had heard the original cast recording, uh, but didn't know much about the story, and it was really funny. Plus, we had a couple with a little kid sitting next to us who they didn't know that it was a play for adults. So, it, that was a lot of fun to see their reaction to the very sexual content of the play. It's amazing how when you're seeing it you forget there are people behind the puppets, like you 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 are not paying attention to them, you're paying attention to the to the puppets. That's that's really great. I think that really worked out. We also won lottery tickets for Book of Mormon, but here's the thing. We had really bad seats and I had actually seen a pirate version of it on, on the internet, so I knew about it. And the actor playing Elder Cunningham wasn't that good. So overall it's a fun play but the experience wasn't the best for us and probably that made it the least favorite one that I saw this time I guess and finally another classic one Chicago I mean we were in New York and Chicago is my favorite movie musical it's a classic to go watch Chicago in Broadway so we got cheap tickets and it was fun again uh, we didn't really like the actress playing Bill McKelly uh, so that wasn't that good, but overall the play is a lot of fun. We both reach for the gun, it's an amazing song that I love in the movie and I love seeing it on stage, so that was that was a fun experience too. So that's about it, these were really short reviews of the musicals and both tell me in the comments if you have seen them and what you think about them and have you seen the Tonys last Sunday? Uh, Kevin Spacey was amazing, I mean, who would have thought putting him uh, as a host that was a great idea. The opening number was amazing and the impressions were really good. I mean, he's known for doing great impressions, but those were really, really good. And I thought overall it was a fun show. Well, hopefully I'll see you soon, at least sooner than last time I made a video. See you next time. Bye.